Hello everyone. We're getting ready to put a clear coat on Selena. Um, I'm, I have to go back to spray cans because I could only find the clear coat in spray cans. This is what I'm using. Um, because aerosol cans tend to have worse smell, um, I'm going back to dividing the car in three parts. So I'm starting with the back. Um, it's really nice to sometimes give some time for, uh, like I painted the car, well not last week, but the week before that I put on the final coat. And, um, um, it's really nice because I find that if you wait, even if a car looks a little street, um, I don't know, it sometimes seems to, I don't know, as the paint starts absorbing, the streaks seem to go away. So, uh, there are advantages, um, you know, it's understandable that you, when you're doing this, maybe you want to get it done as soon as possible, but there are advantages to sometimes being patient and waiting a while. Um... So, uh, so yeah, we're uh, shaking this can up for about a minute. Um, well, actually, it's been a little bit more because I'm talking, but um, I'm going to go ahead and talk. Selena's definitely a conversation uh, piece. Uh, my mom went on her job again, and she came out with the, and there was a bunch of guys, and one had their foot on her bumper. And he thought that Selena must be from the 1940s because of the color of the car. And because he could tell that the car had been hand painted. And, you know, his friends were telling him, you know, in the, you know, 1940s, the cars were square. They weren't rounded like this. And um, they didn't have plastic bumpers and all that. And my mom had came out with another nurse, and the other nurse was, you know, a foreign woman. Um, and so he automatically assumed that the old car belonged to her, which I kind of find is funny because generally speaking, nine times out of ten, it's the foreign people that tend to have the best, to have better cars than most Americans are driving. Of course, I mean, we own Selena, and most of them lease, but... Still, the point is, she was driving a new Lexus, and, you know, my mom's driving the old car, and he was kind of surprised at that, and she, my, so my mom said, well, I spend all my money on young men, which actually isn't true, not anymore anyway, but, um, so he was like, oh, yes, well, that explains it. And, you know, they had been kind of admiring Selena before, but then suddenly it was like, oh, well, you know, you need to replace your car because, you know, they don't make parts like for cars that old anymore. Well, actually, it is true that um, <coughs> while Selena isn't from the 1940s, she's a 2000 car. Um... It is true that they've stopped making mirages, but as far as their insides, from what we can see, they are pretty much identical to the Mitsubishi Lancer. So we're not that concerned about uh, parts just yet. Um, so Lancer was the uh, new design they came to replace the uh, Mirage. But from what we can tell, pretty much the design differences are all outer. Um, inside, the, the, the engine at least and all that, seems to pretty much be identical to a, a Mirage. Um, I wasn't actually going to do this today because my mom had several errands to run. 
But uh, we had several things happen. For one thing, my mom didn't wind up getting to bed until 5 o'clock. But then the main tragedy of the day was that one of our strays, uh, when I got up, I found him and he was poisoned. So we had to, but he wasn't dead yet, so we had to call animal control. And of course we have to wait for animal control to come. Um, it, you know, it's really sad and it tends to be bad. What happens is that a lot of our neighbors have fruit trees. And when you have fruit trees, apparently rats become a big problem for you. And so the neighbors lay down poison for the rats. They don't, they only want to kill the rats, but what happens is that the cats eat the rats and they get poisoned themselves. Normally some animals, uh, they don't, uh, they can tell when an animal's been poisoned and they won't touch it. But I find that a lot of times the animals that get poisoned are the ones that have um, sinus trouble, you know, they probably have allergies. You know, they're the cats that always have runny eyes and all that. And I don't think they can smell the poison. So they eat, you know, they eat stuff and they, they die. And it's, what's bad about it is it tends to run, it's not like we have one animal occasionally. Usually when they start putting down poison, we'll have quite a few animals that die. So we will have a string of animals and it's really, you know, it's rather trying on the nerves, you know. But I think that's what happens, you know. It, you know, it kind of sets off a chain reaction. Anyway, we couldn't, uh, uh, we did, our plans were kind of messed up, so I was like, well, it's a nice sunny day, I might as well take advantage of it that way and, and do the back coat. But because of the smell of aerosol cans, um, I'm probably only going to be doing the back over this week. Okay, so here we go. polish actually I'm also doing the bumper. Protect the uh, two or three coats of paint I had put on that. I don't know how much of this you're seeing. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for now. Okay, this is Selena after three coats of uh, the clear coat. Um, I put them on run one after the other. Uh, we definitely have streaking. 
Uh, I tried to uh, do what I used to do with the primer and go over it with a roller, but that actually made it worse uh, because the clear coat <coughs> really, really uh, dries fast. Um, we got those little spray marks. And we also, on this side, had a real big problem uh, with drips. I don't know if you can see that, because um, the sun's not on our side. Um, <coughs> from far away, she can sometimes look quite good and shiny. Um, I'm hoping that when I wet sand, that maybe I'll be able to get rid of the flaws or they'll fade in time. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I have no way, I couldn't find the clear coat in a roller for version. And as quick as it dries, um, I don't know how easy it is to avoid the streaks. However, um, the whole point is to get her to be protected. And I mean, this still doesn't look too, well, I mean, okay, it, 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 it obviously it, there's a lot of mistakes but still I mean I think I prefer this to the way she looked when she had holes and uh, rust and all that but I'm going to let this dry a bit and then I'll come out and wet sander and put on the megulars and see what happens